the difference between the weapons of today and an autonomous weapon of the future is that an autonomous weapon in the future would be making decisions about what sort of targets on the battlefield to actually fire a weapon at. But there's no reason to think that autonomous weapons are necessarily illegal if they can be used in ways that are consistent with the laws of war. Meaningful human control, in my opinion, is ensuring that human beings have the appropriate context, knowledge, and accountability when making a decision about the use of force. One question some people have raised is whether autonomous weapons create an accountability gap. I think that it's entirely possible that countries or the international community could develop rules of the road for use of these types of systems to ensure there's still appropriate human accountability whenever a weapon is fired. That being said, this is an important challenge that will have to be addressed. The single biggest challenge involved in officially regulating autonomous weapons with an arms control treaty would be verification. Because the only difference between the type of unmanned aerial vehicles that the United States uses now and autonomous versions of those would be software rather than hardware. So this is not like counting missiles. You actually have to get in depth into the system to understand its programming. And very few of any countries would allow that. I would like to see the discussions in Geneva in April produce greater understanding both among states and the various uh, activists and non-state actors involved concerning what exactly we mean when we talk about autonomous weapons and how to think about their potential role in the future.